Hello everyone, welcome to Cup and Curbs Coding class, and welcome to part one, because last part was part zero, just an introduction, of your definitive guide to learning HTML and mostly learning JavaScript. In this video, we're going to cover two things, picking an editor and your first hello world. So let's get started. Okay, so picking an editor. There are a lot of code editors out there, but there are two that are probably the most popular, and those are Visual Studio Code, which is, this is their website, I'll put links to it in the description, and Atom. Okay, now both of these are owned by Microsoft. Atom originally wasn't, but anyway, these are two, they're both powerful editors, and pick whichever one you want. And if you already know a different programming language, then you can use whatever editor you like for these tutorials. However, if you are a complete noob, I would recommend using VS Code for these tutorials because I'm going to be using it, and I'm going to be recommending a few extensions and things that you can use to speed up your workflow, which I use in VS Code. There are probably similar extensions and such with Atom, but I wouldn't know. If you do, you can use it. It won't be much of a hassle. It's not really a tutorial for the editor. It's a tutorial for the code. All right, so download your editor, open your editor, get ready. OK, so when you open your editor, if you're using VS Code, you'll see something like this. Cool. So I'm going to click on Open Folder. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to make a new folder. You should also create a new folder for these tutorials. I'm just going to call it Generic Clicker, and open that. So now, the first thing you want to do is click on New File, and give it a name. I'm going to call mine hello world.html. The really important thing that you need to do when naming your file here is that it ends in .html. Hello world.html. If you aren't familiar with HTML, here's how it works. There are these things called tags, and you make them by let me zoom in. You use the less than sign to begin a tag, then you put the name of the tag and then you use the greater than sign. And then my editor automatically just closed the tag. And you do that by making, again, the same thing here, but you put a slash before the name of the tag. And that means that the tag has ended. There are some exceptions. Some tags do not need to be closed. We'll get to that. Now, the first tag you need to create is the doc type tag. This tells the browser that it's an HTML file. Most modern browsers don't really need it, but it makes them happy, so you should do it. So you type exclamation mark doc type, then space, and then HTML. And you don't need to close this tag. This is one of those weird exceptions. Awesome. This is your doc type tag. Now, that's all boring. This page is still going to be blank when we open it in the browser, so let's make it interesting. Let's make a title tag. Now the title tag controls what the name of the tab is. So when you click on your tab, you know, like this tab right here says hello underscore world .html. That's controlled by this title tag. So I'm going to type hello world into it, which is, I mean, you can type whatever you want if you want. But that's great. You can see the tag. But the page is still blank. You don't want the page to be blank. So let's add some text. I'm going to type h1 into a new tag. And this tag, the h stands for heading, and 1 means it's the first one. So this is the biggest of them. There's five h tags, h1, h2, h3, you get the point. And each one is slightly smaller than the last. This is the biggest one. And I'm going to put hello world inside of this tag, and that's it. This should work. Now, 
What you could do to open it in your browser is just double click on the file and it would open in your browser. But if you're using VS Code, I recommend you click on extensions down here and you search for live server. I have it installed. You can just click on install right there and it'll work. And then for some reason, it will not appear down here. So to launch it, you usually click down here, but it doesn't show up. And what you need to do is just restart VS Code. I don't know exactly why, but oh well. Close it, wait a little bit, reopen VS Code, wait a little bit, and let me just say open. You might have to do that if you're on a Mac. And everything's back how it was, great. Yeah, go away. Now that we've restarted it, you should see down here a little button that says, oops, my dock, go live. Click on it, it says starting, and now it'll say your port, and automatically open it in your default browser. Let me just close that window. And would you look at that, it worked. The title of the tab is hello world, and it says hello world in big bold text, just like how we want it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and stay tuned for the next video, which is actually already public right now, where you will create the first iteration, a very basic version of our final product.